Hey folks, how goes it? I'm letting the bees clean out the uh, two-frame extractor. I did use a rubber scraper and scrape down the sides as best I could. Here you see I have a cardboard box. Why am I using a cardboard box? Well, I took the cappings and I put it on top of a shoebox lid. So this cardboard box will do two things. It'll protect the sun from melting all the wax, number one. And number two, if the bees scatter any of that wax cappings, I'll be able to easily tip this box up and dump the, the dry wax so up. So just a real quick video. I'm letting the bees clean up after extraction. A few moments later. Last tip for you folks, um, to prevent fighting of the bees, you'll notice I moved the extractor so now they're just working on the cappings here. They like the little stick that I was resting the frames on. I put the insert to the capping tank over there and the extractor is over there. So within the next hour or two, the bees will have this all cleaned up. And that's my Nopales cactus. Good lordy. <sighs> So today it's a Sunday. I'm just going to take a trip to the A yard. Uh, that's one of the names I call my B yards. And I just want to go do a general health assessment, make sure there's no dead outs, take a peek underneath some of the hives. So enough rambling. Uh, check it out. You may have seen the trees behind me here. They're the Brazilian pepper trees. Okay, first quick tip here. I got some old comb that I had frozen. Uh, this is just all uh, older honeycomb. It's still kind of frozen. I lay it out here on cardboard, and then I'm gonna let the bees open feed on this. Um, again, it's just my way to kind of use up this. It's a resource, honestly. I don't wanna waste anything. So I'm gonna lay this out, and then I'll get my smoker and everything fired up. I do have some empty frames. All these frames are spun out. Uh, you'll see again, this is my tote. Real simple, simple dowel. You'll see there's a little sag. It's not perfect. You can maybe drill a, a cheap uh, strip of wood on the sides if you wanted to. It's a no-brainer. So uh, again, I'm not the only person that done that before. see there's really not too much busy bee activity going on here uh, I mean it does look like there's bees in them but let's take a closer look never judge a colony by the entrance it's a one good way to observation but don't take your whole inspection based on what you see uh, this colony for example needs to get condensed I already know there's not enough bees in that to to maintain a, a big population. The only reason why I did that is because the last time I was here they were a little bit aggressive. So I kind of took some frames and rearranged it, but let me check this one first. Ideally, I'm gonna break down it into two boxes, maybe one. So I'm gonna start from the top, probably lift it right off and remove it.
Okay, so there you go, boys and girls. Uh, this kind of an attitude is not the trait I want. Again, it was kind of my fault because I really didn't use my smoker properly to introduce myself. All right, sorry, folks. You can see how they're coming all out. They're in high defense mode here. Uh, I didn't really use that much stealthiness with I took the top off. I kind of pried it apart quickly. So my fault, I didn't really use the smoke like I should have. So I'm gonna reassess this on another day. Um, I did not check in there because these ones are too aggressive. These colonies here in the back are fine. Uh, they do need to be reduced, but it's getting dark, you'll see. These bees are still all over me here. So my fault, girl, sorry about that. Um, again, we learn. So uh, that's it for now, folks. We got bees all over me. Again, we'll, uh, we'll come back. Uh, it's important that I only uh, raise bees with the genetics that I want and uh, right now, again, they're a little defensive and that could have been because of my, number one, my neglect. I don't check them really frequently every week like I should be and then number two, I kind of pried that top cover off. But stay tuned, uh, we'll come back again.